Hi, I'm Lynn Ferris, and I'll be teaching my Capturing the Light watercolor workshop at Chief Joe's in September. It's pretty amazing the difference light and shadow can make to a painting. It can bring drama, it can bring strong design, and it can even bring emotion. So I'm going to give you a little introduction here. I'm going to take a photograph that's just a pretty darn blah photograph. Not much contrast, um, sort of stuck in what I like to call mid-tone purgatory. And I'm going to design a strong, a strong painting just using light and shadow. I'm going to start out by putting a piece of tracing paper over it and making what I like to call a shadow map, which is I'm just going to color in or volume in all of the shadows. Then I'm going to take a look at that and see if it's good design. If not, I'm going to adjust it a little bit. Then using just three colors of paint, the three primaries, I'm going to paint only the shadows. I'm never going to touch the sunlight. I'm going to paint multiple layers of shadow, each one getting a little darker and a little smaller until I've got a fully fleshed out painting by painting nothing but the shadows. So here we go. So here's that pretty bad photograph I was talking about. It's, there's nothing really wrong about it, except that it doesn't have a lot of value contrast. It's not very dramatic and it's just kind of boring. And here's my shadow map. I haven't worried about the difference in values within the shadows. It's just kind of a yes, no. And I want to see if that makes a good, strong design. And I think it does. The one change I made to it is I included the sky area as part of my shadow shape. I just felt like it balanced out a little bit better. Here's my first layer of shadow. It's just a yes, no. Everything gets a thin veil of mingled color. Um, the three colors I'm using are, again, the three primaries. I'm using alizarin crimson, phthalo blue, and just a tiny little bit of cadmium yellow. Here's a little close-up of what I like to call bounced light, and it's a gold that's bouncing up under the eaves. Generally, your shadows are cool, but I thought it would be really fun to bounce a little warmth into there. So here I've added a second layer of shadow. It's subtle, but it starts to bring the porch forward and it starts to bring the eaves at the top of the house forward. So I continue with the layers and you can see the forms start to emerge. And I can do as many layers as I want. I can do four, five, six, it doesn't matter as long as I get down to my darkest darks. And here it is finished. So pretty cool, huh? So I hope to see you in September for lots more fun stuff with light and shadow. Happy painting.